Hello, welcome back to Phoenix Ray Justice for All. Sweet. You have to believe. I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So then, who are you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday, remember? I was in the ringmaster's room. And while you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Jack told me to wait for you because he would be right back. That's when the ringmaster knew the scene of the crime, right? That's what it seems like. But the ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Oh, sweetie, I just remember. I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead to the costume off. Which means? It means that the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max. Fabulous. That's a fabulous impossible possibility. Well done. However, sweetie, I would the ringmaster want to dress up like me. Isn't that a bit strange? Hmm. If you think about it, all they found at the crime scene was my silk hat. What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double. Well, Max, I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. Well, I was never quite sure what to do when I grew up. Magician or person. You have no idea how hard it was to make a decision. That's really cool. Speaking autobiographical gibberish. Oh, well, I, I'm sorry. I'm just not used to being in court. I've never been in a courtroom in my life. I wasn't quite sure what joke is best suited to this sort of occasion. What in the world are you talking about? You're in a grand hall of justice, not some comedy club. Since it's easy to see your occupation, please state your name for the court. Oh, yeah, maybe this joke is okay. Aw, oh, do I have to wear pants? The side only says no shirt, no shoes, no shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, how about this? Have you met my proctologist, Dr. Seymour Butts? How does that look? <laughs> hey, that's the Simpsons joke. <laughs> but a couple of clowns from Crump the Nookers. Where's Curl, a professional funny man, also known as Mo the Clown. You witnessed the scene at around 10.15 p.m. the day of the murder. Correct? Yes. Yes, it is. Very well, Mr. Curls. Will you please testify to what you saw that evening? A rabbi, a priest, and a Rastafarian walk into his plaza or without the human priest. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, poor Mo can't be his normal studio self in court. Asking the questions here? Witness. Huh? We will listen to your call for help after the court proceedings are over. Thus, please stick to the facts of this case. 
Really? You did really, you really hear me out? Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait. Poor gumshoe. Now that that's settled, shall we begin once again with the testimony? Of course we could. I'll talk for as long as you want. The night of the murder, after practice was over, I went straight back to bed. You have no idea how tired I was that night. I was pooped. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away from me. It was the Raiders, and he was with the Raiders, who was wearing his coat. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max plopped the Raidmaster over the head. That's very interesting. If this eyewitness account is to be made, I have enough to pass judgment right now. Of course you can. There's no way that this account can be criticized. However, the witness is a bit, how, how do you say, off kilter. Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding <laughs> That must be because of my insincere smile. Just the right I know that, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, I'm afraid that if you push the answer at this point, it will bring disaster upon the court. Thus, I sincerely hope you are not going to engage in a pointless saber at all. I understand, Your Honor. You caused this crime to stray from the courts. I'll hold you responsible. Why am I responsible? I'm not the one with the court. to look out their windows, do they? That's not what I meant. I meant that. Well, when we spoke yesterday. Once I had tucked myself into bed, I heard this amazing noise. It was incredible. It sounded like a giant thump. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Forgot? Your Honor, the witness looked out of his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not just simply glance out of his window then. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot to mention that thump did not. Oh, 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 I saw something you just forgot to mention. Um, yeah, oh, jeez. I believe it would be best if Mo were to revise his testimony. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Curls, please revise your testimony. This should start turning the tables in our favor. A huge noise outside. And that's what made me take a look outside. Take a look outside. Hold it! What was the sound like? Well, I guess it kind of sounded like. Well, I guess you could say. Mr. Curls, may the court remind you that humor is unnecessary. Oh, well, how do you know that I was going to make a joke? <laughs> I guess that the sound sounded like. I suppose it sounded like someone getting hit with something very important. Yep, yeah, that's what it sounded like. Honestly. Someone getting hit. But then, you went to look out the window and you saw it. Just think about it. How could I be wrong when Max is always worrying his ugly 
symbols. Oh, who needs symbols? Lawyers nowadays. Do even have to go to school anymore? Alright, everyone knows what to do. All together now. Say it with Uncle Mo. See what I mean? It's always like this. The crowd never wants to go along with me. I must really be utterly and completely worthless as a clown. Yeah, what's up? No foolishness. Get back on track. Will the witness please testify as to what he saw, and only what he saw? Okay, what? in this manner. You better have an excellent reason for attacking this poor, poor clown. Because if you don't, you know what is waiting for you. A nice penalty. Mm, isn't this a bit melodramatic? So what will be then, Mr. Phoenix? Do you have any clear basis to believe that my witness did not see the crime? Of course I do. I've got a great reason to make my claim. And I suppose you will be telling us all that great reason. Of course I will. The reason is... The witness's very own testimony. What is the meaning of that, Mr. Wright? Mo said that he heard a sound like the thump of something getting hit. He did say, however, Mo just stayed at the fall on the coast. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, I just clocked and I just over the head. Mo is to be believed when he says he looked out the window upon hearing a sound. There's no way that he could have seen Max Kwong anyway. <laughs> Mr. Curl, how do you respond to Mr. Wright's assessment? They didn't come in at least five o'clock to escape from the maximum security cost card. Mr. Curl, so you're just having to see the team that they grew to No, 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 I'm just all at the time while I'm talking to you. Great job. These types of witnesses always seem to have a slight you just have to peel back the layers of the clown makeup to find the truth. Well, um, uh, you're back from your job? Well, it pretty much happened the way I said it. Pretty much. When I looked out my window that night, the ringmaster was already face down in the street. The prosecution helped me fill in the gaps in my statement. Oh, Von Karma. Separating the witnesses again. Now you are saying that you did not see the defendant clock the ringmaster. Yes. When I looked out my window, the ringmaster had already checked out. Checked out? Yep, he was on permanent vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Curls, your honor, you did not witness the actual crime. 
However, you still say you saw the criminal, correct? <laughs> yes, exactly. The ringmaster was slumped over, and I saw someone's silhouette next to him. Very well. And please testify to the silhouette you saw. I expect the truth. And if I even catch a hint of a joke from you, I will cut you in a hole so until you are in court etiquette. Got it. Got it. Oh. It was a bit far away, but that shadow could only have walked in the house. There's no doubt in it, especially since I saw his up at the The silk hat, that black cloak, they were all there. His face was so white, but there was no doubt that it was him. His cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. It does seem as if the defendant was at the scene of the crime. It took the clown long enough to get his facts straight. But whatever, it should finally be good enough, yes? It was decisive testimony. Was Max really at the crime scene that night? He said he wasn't there. We have to believe in that. Alright, Mr. Wright, commence your cross examination. Still old man.
Lady saw all of Max's uppity symbols? I suppose so. The so cat and the cloak, right? Well, everyone knows that Max and the Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols? Yeah, yeah, everyone get ready. All together. <laughs> so cat, cloak, white rose. What the? Who cares if he knew that there were three or not? He saw what he saw, and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention that right? <laughs> Do you like pie? I love pie. <laughs> so it's cool. You are to respond with the whole truth. No fractions. <laughs> you said the digits. Order. Order. <laughs> well, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the first time I saw. Objection! Crime scene is dark. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of thing. Objection! But the witness said she was able to see the silhouette of the criminal face. Not to mention that the roses are white. There's no way you could have missed it. Objection! Then the roses must have fallen off when the defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, then the police would have found them near the crime scene. Mr. Wright, are these white roses truly material to the facts of this case? Clearly not. He was just toying with his work. I got around the ropes now. He's seen that insignificant facts have never failed to lead me to the truth. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your Honor, do you recall Trano's testimony? There's no way I can mistake someone wearing this. ridiculous clothes. How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his nose like a silver? How can you mistake someone wearing such a stuffy, creepy skin? Trilos saw them all. Trilos saw all three of them. However, this witness claims there were no white roses on the first thing. There is absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Now what am I supposed to think? What is supposed to disregard the point of this focus? Judge, forget the roses. Think about his other testimony. The witness has stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Glatt. Nothing else matters. Let's wrap this piece up now. Your Honor, it may be trivial, but it doesn't pass down on the process of this Frankly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that, unlike Twine, the witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not mature. I don't know, I've come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the thing. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable, which means that for my case of life, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? If there are no contradictions in this next state, I am prepared to destroy the world. Rule. Nick, this is your last chance. There's no doubt in my mind, there were no white roses that night. However, all the other symbols were there, and equally sure. Especially the silk hat. There's no way I could forget people that hurt. He was wearing it the entire time that he was on the scene. I will not allow you to display this type of bad things. You are going to prove to me that there's a contradiction in this situation. You'd better have at least a shred of evidence to back up track. I've only got a single shot at this. I've got to be careful. I understand, Your Honor. One chance is all I will need. cat you saw that night. What is Yep, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question on your mind? And exactly how would one mistake a thing like that? Let's see, is there some sort of problem this time? It's fun coming. Where exactly is the so cat found? Must you always ask this question? It was found at the crime scene. The silk hat fell off at the crime scene. However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. No! 
jokes or something, right? You didn't have to go and assault my eyesight and my memory. They're both great. Seriously. Why? Just because you should have gone to the island. Holy crap. Yeah, always be young and... Uh. Enough of these childish albums, Mr. Crow. Who do you think you are? I saw him. I swear I saw him. It was nice. Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb silk hat. I'm telling the truth. He turned into a dying little kid. It's a bit of a mystery. You left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat. Who's there? You left the scene? What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Well? What do you want? You just said that he left the scene. Exactly. How did the murderer leave the scene of the crime? What? He, um, he went. What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that. Objection! Mr. Phoenix Wright is badgering the witness, Your Honor. Objection! This witness's testimony is so full of holes, Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. <laughs> You've got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that alright with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is, how did you leave the crime scene? The answer is obvious. He just turned around and walked away. That's what I expected you to say. You sure that's how it happened? Say what? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. Lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Do you have any proof to counter his story as to how the criminal left the scene? of the victim. However, where are the criminals' footprints? They aren't there. Ah, so, no. Exactly how did the criminals get the scene? Oh, yeah. Your Honor, this witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unreliable. I need to strike all this witness's testimony from the court record. This class testimony Wait just a second. You guys can't just ignore everything I said. Fuck hey, fine. I'll tell you the truth this time. You wait a second. I think you've said more than enough for today. That didn't hurt. I'm sick and tired of listening to you anyways. I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear. I don't know why, but I get the feeling things are gonna get worse before they get better. Mr. Warren's curls. Yes. The testimony you provided up until now has been false. It hasn't been false. I haven't lied. It's just... It's just what? It's just I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karma and her lip told me not to talk about what I really saw. Order. Order. I will have order. Francisco Von Karma, how could you? Your Honor. If you had heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. What opinion is that? It's not funny. That's enough out of you. I'm going to listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear the truth about what you say you saw, Mr. Cruz. Huh, <laughs> you're not going to believe this, but it's all true, I tell you. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. Everything that I've said up until now has been the truth. 
When I looked out the window, the ringmaster was down and Max was standing above me. He wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's what I saw. This is the truth now. Get ready for it. He flew. He jumped up and flew through the air. He flew right off and disappeared into the darkness. That's why there were no footprints. Flying people don't leave footprints. I told you it wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? How do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician. But to leave the scene of crime by flying, there's no way it had actually happened. You, you're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses. Why won't you believe me? Especially since that's the best part of the story. Hmm. To be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony? just said it was so strange. I don't think he would have made it up. Which means that he is telling the truth. That's what I think. Nick, wait. That means that Max actually used magic. Yikes, you're right. Oh. Only a foolish looking fool can be fooled by such a fool as fool's fool of street. Don't be ridiculous. Magic does not exist. I just can't wrap my head around how that could actually work. The imbecile. He just regarded me as one of his cases. However, I got the fear of his cases and died in this Thus, I will keep the business proceedings at this point. It's the undisputed fact that the criminal will be no Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery. Hmm. Oh. I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. All we can do is hope to find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea. Let's do our best.